today I'm going to show you a demonstration with some light and how refraction occurs. I have a penny, a clear cup, a small pie tin, and some water. I'm going to place the penny underneath the cup, right in the center. Next I'm going to place the pie tin on the cup. So that when we peer in the side, we can see the penny. From all angles, you can see the penny. Now, I'm going to add some water to the cup. And the penny will... disappear. You can no longer see the penny from any side of the cup. How does this work? This trick behind the disappearing penny experiment is the refraction of light. Images that we see are all light rays that reach our eyes. With these light rays travel through air, they experience little or no refraction. That's why you can still see the penny through the empty side of the glass. When you poured the water into the glass, it was as though the penny had disappeared, but it was really just some bending light rays. After traveling through the water and the side of the glass, none of the rays were able to reach your eyes. Refraction occurs because of the molecules in the substance that the light rays are passing through. Gas molecules are spread out. This is why little to no refraction occurs. However, when light rays pass through a substance such as water, the refraction is greater because the molecules are closer together. So when the light rays are traveling from the money through the water, they are refracted and cannot make it to your eyes. In fact, the glass also refracts the light even more, and the images end up being projected near the top of the glass.